Welcome. We'll take a quick look at the zoom mic capabilities from Apple and Samsung that introduced this new feature. I really wanted to know how they compare to the popular shotgun mics that you'll see often in YouTube videos. My setup has two audio sources six feet away from the mics. The left side acts as a subject where the directional audio comes from to simulate someone talking directly to the camera. The right side generates ambient noise. I specifically use road noise and the other one a crowd of people. For each mic test, I first start out by pointing to the subject or directional audio source. Then I redo the same test pointing away towards the ambient noise. So ideally, we should hear some difference between the two. To get similar levels of audio playback, the iPhone needed the largest boost of 22 decibels. The Zoom shotgun mic needed 16 and the Note 10 needed 12. Feel free to click around in the timeline sections to repeat specific tests. Okay, let's take a listen. The iPhone did do better when pointing to the audio source, sounding slightly clearer with less road noise, but not as isolating as I had hoped. Note 10 was also clearer when pointing to the audio source. It also could not filter out the road noise effectively. Both phones sounded like they were doing heavy noise reduction, kind of like that jello-y, watery effect. Although the iPhone did do a better job of muting the ambient noise. I thought the Zoom shotgun mic did the best job. Although it doesn't isolate noise, I thought it sounded the clearest and most natural. From these tests, you notice the Note 10 increases again when you zoom in. I guess that's an interesting effect, but it gives the impression that the audio is just being raised with no further isolation. Okay, to sum up, the zoom mics were not all that impressive in either phone. But on the flip side, I suppose it's a start, and better to have than not. The iPhone seemed to work to filter out and reduce ambient noise, and the Note seems to focus on making the subject louder and less about filtering the ambient noise. Maybe in future iterations, they'll utilize a fancy video distancing tech such as the time of flight and LiDAR sensors for more accurate isolation of sound. One thing's for sure, the days of the shotgun mic may be coming to a close with the rise of these smart mics. Okay, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you found this useful, and thanks for watching!